All right, so we have all of the parts in. I put uh, the resistor packs in. There's two types, a 1K and a 4.7K, two of each. So those are all in. Uh, the ROM and RAM is in. Uh, we're all set to go. Uh, there was uh, a sex change. This is a male and this is a male. So I had to have a sex change. And then uh, pins 2 and 3 had to be swapped. So one of these is a null modem. So um, we have it uh, running at uh, 5 volts. Looks like it's drawing about a quarter of an amp. And uh, we don't have the 250, uh, 8255 loaded. We don't have the um, floppy disk controller loaded. And currently I don't have the uh, a battery socket right now, so we'll just have to operate it without it. So uh, let's go to a terminal window and uh, see if we can't get it to boot. Okay, um, so just like with the MSI, we have the uh, a TerraTerm running. Uh, the setup is... Uh, COM3, um, the baud rate of this device is supposed to be 38400. Um, so we'll see if that's true. Um, and let me apply power and hit reset. Oh, there we go. Cool. Wow, what's all this stuff? <laughs> uh, let's see. What, let's read it. Um, Homebrew uh, HBIOS, okay, uh, some dates, so it's pretty recent. Uh, Zeta Z80, uh, version 2, so that's the Zeta 2, at 8 megahertz, that's true. Memory layout is, yep, 512K ROM, 12, uh, it's actually flash and RAM. Uh, we have a UART, yep, uh, oh, there we go, 38, yeah, so it's 38408 no parity one stop um then we have a real-time clock uh, i don't know how to use that uh we have a rom disk and a ram disk i think there's like multiple disks in here and then a floppy drive i guess it can handle a and b floppies and then a peep oh, that's the parallel port so the 8255 is 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 not loaded Oh, here we go. Here's some things. Disk zero is a RAM disk. Disk one is a ROM disk. Disk three is floppy. All right. Interesting things. Okay. So I don't know what any of these other things do, but I know that when you press C, it's supposed to go to CPM. So we we'll hit C. Oh, there we go. Wow, that was fast. Um, C BIOS configuring drive so there's an a b a c and a d drive i guess disk buffer bytes free b colon so we're defaulted to b colon Dur. oh there we go there's cpm cool um let's see if we can do something like stat uh stat disks there's an a and a b very cool uh what else do we have in here as an assembler ddt is the dynamic debugging tool ed is the editor uh load for the assembler 12 uh, real-time clock format talk what does talk do talk hmm. i don't know clear directory file mbasic there we go mbasic oops basic cool Ten. print this is a zeta to c80 cp m80 computer Two ten, yay! Control C works. System cool. Um, super sub. Hmm. I don't know what any of these things are. Uh, XM. Oh, X modem. Cool. 
So we can copy the other programs in. Uh, sys, copy diff, does it have pip? Yeah, it has pip. Flash, survey, survey, oops, survey. Tell us a little bit about it. Uh, let's see, there's an A drive and a B drive and a member map and what is T is open, C is CPM, BIOS, okay, cool. Active IO, wow, it's got a lot of IO ports, wow. Uh, X, uh, sys copy, copy dump, 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 100, 100, no input file, mm, different kind of dump, not a memory dump. Um, can you do a uh, FD syschain? I'll, I'll have to figure out what these things are, what they give you. There should be some other drives. Should be an A drive. Uh, oops. So the A drive has got lots of stuff, so it must be the RAM drive, and then B is the ROM drive. Got no space left. Uh, is there a C? No. Okay. Awesome. So. Um, I hope you guys, uh, enjoyed the Z80, uh, the, uh, Zeta two stuff. Um, there seems to be a, quite a bit of people interested in this. Um, it does allow me to have a CPM system back up and running again, now that I've sold my MSI. So that's pretty cool. I can do development on this. Um, need to figure out how to get files on and off. I mean, the X, the, um, X modem is the way to do it. You can send uh, send and receive files and stuff, but then I want to be able to store them and things. So um, I may try a couple things with this. I may try the floppy controller and instead of using an actual floppy drive, um, use a, a compact flash card. And I want to see if that, uh, that will work out on this thing. And then I can put a bunch of things out on the compact flash and they're and be non-volatile. Uh, so that'd be cool. But, uh, boy, this thing is just trivial to get up and running. It is great. Um, and I'm sure I've got a lot of other programs that I can put back in here that I like um, from the old in MSI days. Um, I do want to try to put forth in here, see if I can get F83 running uh, in this little machine or not. That would be cool. Um, and I need to find out what all of these things do. I, th there's, I think there's a ton of documentation on this, so I just need to go. I just need to go read through it. So uh, things we learned is um, uh, really there's nothing to go wrong. Um, there's a funny little jumper on the board. I, I installed no jumpers at all, so I don't know what that jumper does. So just everything is no jumper. Um, it does default to uh, 38,400 uh, baud rate. Um, I did do. I did need to do a, a pin two three swap. I put my uh, analyzer on it to see which pins were being talked, which were talking. Pin three seemed to be talking. So um, both both the devices had pin three talking. So I did need a gen gender change. So you probably will find that also. Um, and then I also needed a. Um, uh, a gender change and a uh, pin two three swap, which is a um, a null modem. Um, so those were needed. Um, you need a terminal program. Um, a lot of those available online. And then you too can have a Z80 running CPM. <laughs>